This display keeps getting better and better. Hey, check it out. The Mad Hatter and Alice figures from Disney Infinity. And we also have Zootopia and Dory and Nemo from the new film Finding Dory. Those were released actually the day when I got them. Hey guys, how's it going? Sean Allen here. Speaking of Disney Infinity, I was looking at some of the concept art that they were they were releasing for figures that they were possibly going to release, but now they're not because Disney Infinity is closing. One of the figures I saw was the Doctor Strange figure that was uh, supposed to look like Benedict Cumberpatch from the uh, from the Doctor Strange movie. It looks so awesome. I wish they had made it into a figure, but unfortunately. <laughs> Got the axe. Plus, you ready for this? Uh, I think I mentioned in the video, but in one of my videos, but apparently they were planning on making a Peter Pan figure, but unfortunately, we're not getting that as well. I just think that what they should do is they should, for the characters they have concept art, they should make them and then distribute them for this later this year. I don't know what figures are coming out, like in Christmas. But in terms of other characters, uh, I don't know if we're actually getting Rogue One characters. I highly doubt it. And I've also noticed that with some of the newer figures, they're no, they're no longer releasing the special little identity cards. Um, in fact, I have a couple over here. You know, when you got your figures, you got these little cards here. Here's one for Nick Wilde. Here's Judy Hobbs. Here's Buzz and Jesse there. And here's Mater. Um, for some of the more recent figures, like for Finding Dory and the Alistair Looking Glass characters, they're not making these anymore. Anyways, we're not here to talk about Disney Infinity. We're talking about VidCon, right? Today is day one of VidCon. I was actually looking at the registration. I thought that yesterday, June uh, June 22nd was the first day, but no, nothing was happening today. It was just registration and, I guess, people uh, going to their hotel rooms and stuff. But tomorrow, June 23rd, is the first day for VidCon, which is today when I'm recording this right now. Uh, well, actually, is today June... 23rd yet? I don't think it is because I'm actually recording this at night uh, before I head out to VidCon because I didn't want to have to worry about recording this before I start driving because I want to get this filming out of the way. So in terms of what's going to be happening at VidCon, I have absolutely no idea. But I do know that the list of YouTubers that are going to be there is huge. We're talking the Shaytards, Smosh, Smosh Games, Philip DeFranco, Grace Helbig, Olga K, Black Nerd Comedies. There's like a whole ton of people. Oh, Markiplier is gonna be there. Um, Jack is gonna be there. I didn't. I didn't see. Um, I didn't see PewDiePie. Well, I don't. I don't think he's gonna be there because he's in the process of moving. But um, he might show up. I don't know. <laughs> but um, there's gonna be a lot of YouTubers there that I um, that I've seen over the last. Gosh, I don't know. Many so many years of me watching YouTube videos back dating back to like 2009. Um, and I've also noticed that there's a bunch of sponsors. Obviously, you got YouTube, you've got Maker Studios, you got Awesomeness TV, Dove, uh, Variety, Nickelodeon. So there's a lot. I think Vine and Tumblr as well are going to be there as well. You know, they, they just got so much going on at this thing. It's going to be insane. So, all right, got to cut this short. So I'm going to head out to VidCon. Well, I'm going to go to bed first, and then we're going to head to VidCon. But in just a few seconds, we're going to be in the car heading to the Anaheim Convention Center because that's where they've held all of the VidCons this year. Just very quickly, there's also going to be a VidCon in Europe next year. I don't know if that, that means they're not going to have one here next year, but it sounds like they're planning on doing a VidCon conference, whatever, next year in Europe, which will be the first time that VidCon has gone outside of the United States because it's always been held here in the U.S. in Anaheim at the convention center right across from the Disneyland Resort. <laughs> which I can't go right now because I got blackout dates. I haven't posted the video by the time you're watching this, but I have my annual pass right there, stuck to the wall, or stuck to my uh, bulletin board, and I'm waiting for the day when I can rip it off of there and use it again. Yeah, which will be in late August. Yeah. All right, so let's head now to the Anaheim Convention Center for day one of VidCon 2016. We're taking a different route today, everybody. We're driving past Universal Studios Hollywood. We're a lot closer this time. I don't know if you can see it from all the haze, but there's Hogwarts Castle up there. And I think a little bit of Hogmeads is showing as well. Check it out, behind this truck is Capitol Records. And over here is the real Hollywood Tower Hotel. What the ride is based on, there it is. The real Hollywood Tower Hotel. 
And directly behind that on the hill is the Hollywood sign. And thankfully the Hollywood Tower Hotel elevators at that one work just fine. They don't send you to the Twilight Zone. That's a good thing, right? I've always wanted to make it on Broadway. Sweet. Oh, there's the Metro. That's the yellow line right there. There it is. Disneyland Drive. First time in a long time where I won't be going to Disneyland going this route. But we'll be like literally right across the street from it though. Well, Disney California Adventure because we're going to the Anaheim Convention Center. But, uh, yep. Disneyland Drive. We just, we're about to pass it. So, yep. Here we go. Getting off. Look, there it is, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. We saw the real one not too long ago. There's definitely a lot of palm trees in this area. No doubt about that. There it is, the convention center. Yep, there's Disneyland Park. Right there is Cars Land, the backside of it, that is. There's California Screaming right over there. Yep. See what I mean? It's literally across the street from Disneyland Park. There it is, VidCon! There it is! Well, I have absolutely no clue as to where to park for the convention center. They absolutely did not tell me where to go. I think I know where I'm gonna be parking, you guys. Right over here to my left is the Toy Story parking lot. So I'm gonna be planning on parking over there. It looks like several other people have done the same thing, so. I know for sure there's going to be parking here, so we're going to the Toy Story parking lot. See, I know it's for Disney theme parks and all that, but you know what? i got to make an exception here because they probably have zero parking at the convention center right now. We're going to the Toy Story parking lot. <laughs> yeah! So check that out. They were already planning for this. Look, convention parking center. So uh, yeah, we're parking in the Buzz Lightyear parking lot. Very, very cool. So I got a little strap there letting people know that I'm here for the convention center. And guess what? It's 15 instead of 18. I like it. All right, we're here, you guys. I'm gonna now get out and um, check out the convention. Let's go. I got all of the food trucks out here. Goodness. There it is. Adam the Woo. That was Adam the Woo back there. Hey, great. We're going all over the place in terms of this registration. We're like on the other side of the building. Good grief. <laughs> Check it out. Wow. This place is like a parking garage. Jeez. This place is huge. All right, so there I am. Disneyland video series. I could put Shonda films on there too, but in this case, you know, I'm all checked out of my Disneyland, you know, clothing. So maybe next time I can wipe it off and put Shonda films next time or whatever. Get a free VidCon bag, nice. So in case you're wondering, there is actually a color code for the badges. Red's for community, blue is for industry, like an industry outside of YouTube or whatever, and purple is for creator and. I'm a creator. I'm a creator of magic. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Okay, we are here. This reminds me a lot of the E3 Expo, like a lot. Look, these walls are, they're moving these walls around. That's pretty interesting. So as I was saying, this reminds me a lot of the E3 Expo that I went to last year when Disney sent me out to check out the, uh, the Disney Infinity stuff. Chaotic. <laughs> here is the Nickelodeon Arcade right here. They got a lot of stuff here, as you can see. Got a lot of really old arcade games. There's M&M's over here. This is the 
booth that has a lot of the merchandise from many of your favorite YouTubers. I see Brent and Link, I think, uh, the bobbleheads that is. There's Good Mythical Morning. I see uh, a lot of interesting stuff over here. There's a stage over there. YouTube Red's down there. Looks like they've got uh, something over here, an obstacle course of some sort. There's American Ninja Warrior right over here. There's Dove, Taco Bell. Here they have competing game stage. Netflix Lounge, I've got over here. Ah, my, my fingers are getting stuck in the bag. <laughs> Truth or Dare, right there. Looks like Insta, whoa, what is this thing? So they've got, they've got some sort of scavenger hunt that's going on right now from the Nickelodeon area, so. Um, so I'm going to see if I can try to do that, and uh, yeah, that should be interesting. So there is uh, Instagram right there. I thought I missed Instagram. It was close by. Um, I'm heading back to the uh, Nickelodeon spot for just a minute. Time to do a little ski ball. Oh, numbers aren't working. Okay, let's try this again. I think this time will work. There we go. All right. Whoops. I'm not doing so good. There we go. 50,000. 40,000. Ooh, 30,000. 20,000. <laughs> oh, another 20,000. It says, thank you for playing what I get. That's the same I score. Well, you guys added up. <laughs> All right, so one of the places that I can go for the scavenger hunt is right here at the Dove Lounge area, so I'm gonna look for that. Okay, so I found the barcode. So right now I'm gonna head off and look for another one, but before I do that, look. There's Shane, Gavin Butler. This is for all the books. There's Roe there. Joy Graceffa, yeah. About to do zing shot, and I gotta be careful because there's a lot of. There we go. Whoop. Come here. All right, here we go. If you make it in the small one, you get a free bow. Yeah, you get a free one if you get it in the little one. got a free one here. That is awesome. There's Miranda Sings right there. So it says that there's a barcode by the Kia cars which are, which are over here. Over here. This is the Kia main stage. It's insane, right? This place is ginormous. Well these are the vehicles over here. There's a blue one right behind me but I don't see the barcode anywhere. Because I went all around the car and I didn't see it. It's on the wall or something? What's this? Yeah, it's just a piece of paper. Weird. They don't have the barcode for this one over here. Here's the other one. Yeah. Reminds me of the time when I saw the uh, Pac-Man vehicles. So I'm in the PBS lounge area and apparently you can make slime here. So we're about to make some slime here at the PBS lounge. It's going to be interesting. So I need a fourth cup of, of glue to put into the bowl. So that's what I'm going to do right now. There's one fourth. Now we need a third cup of water. This Oh, okay. There we go. And it says six to seven drops of fruit coloring. I'm gonna make mine green, like flubber. <laughs> One, two, three. Alright, got 
the borax solution right here, half a cup or half a tablespoon. And here we go. Okay, well my first line came out kind of sloppy. Uh, <laughs> I, did, I think I didn't stir something correctly, so I'm gonna try it again. All right, I can already tell this is looking a lot better <laughs> than my first one, yikes. Ah, I got slimed, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. A lot better than that stuff. <laughs> Woo, yikes. That's that little fiasco. I got my slime, as you can see. And I think I'm going to end part one of this vlog because I've already got a lot of content right now for this video. So if you like the video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, favorite the video, share your friends, and of course, uh, and, <laughs> and of course subscribe to my channel, the Disneyland Video Series. Don't forget to also check out my previous episodes of Mealtime at Disneyland, my ride reviews, my vlogs, and of course, my VidCon videos. I hope you enjoyed them. hope you enjoyed this one. See you guys next time here on the Disneyland Video Series. And I hope your day was a magical one. Bye!